Hi, I'm Ed Colito. I'm the Executive Director for Southern Lakes Parks and Recreation and the Fenton Community and Cultural Center. Back in 2009, uh, Southern Lakes Parks and Rec was asked to come and uh, manage the community center and take over the farmer's market and really the concert series, the summer concert series in the park uh, for the city of Fenton. And uh, with the onslaught of COVID, uh, all that kind of went away. So when we came back, working with the city, we really wanted to do something that allowed families to get outside and do family activities and dovetail that into the success we've already had with the farmer's market and uh, the concert series. So what we ended up having initially was uh, the Fenton Street Experience, but we try to tie in a lot of family activities into an already hustling and bustling night. And uh, the Freedom Center really was key in making sure we had all kinds of excellent activities for families on those Thursday nights over the summer. What did the Freedom Center Church do that really made an impact for us on our Thursday nights, our family nights down here in downtown Fenton? Uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's huge really. A lot of families, they, they may have a little bit more money, a little bit more time, and their kids are involved in travel this or uh, racing that, and so they're in and out of the community a lot. They're going off almost every weekend to different events um, that are kid-focused and, and great, but not everybody is blessed to be able to do that. So what the, again, what the Freedom Center Church did was provide that right to downtown. So if you could just get your kid to downtown, uh, during those Thursday nights last summer and coming up this summer, they're gonna experience some incredible events. They're gonna see a role model of, of like youth and, and the youth leaders interacting together and solving problems together and just having a blast and, and respecting each other. So it's a great example of what community should be, of what family should be, and it's here for free almost every Thursday night this summer. I'd say the overall response that we got from the Freedom Center's involvement um, was not so much, thank God that the Freedom Center's here, which is what I was saying. It's more like people just saying, I can't believe the event I was just at. I can't believe the little boats we just made or the, the water slide we were just on. I, it's the ice cream that I got for free or the water that I got for free. I mean, there's so much that the volunteers from the Freedom Center did to help us out on Thursday nights. I can't measure it. I, I, I certainly couldn't do those individual thank yous, but uh, what a blessing it was to have a partner like Pastor Jim and the Freedom Center. So what do I hope we, we can do this year? I hope we can match what we did last year. And I hope you guys come up with some new ideas that scare me and make me run off to the insurance guys and say, what can we do to make this event happen? Because you guys never cease to thrill when, you, when you're given a, a, a blank canvas and you come up with something fun for the family. So volunteering for uh, family nights down here in Fenton um, from the Freedom Center, it's an incredible act of volunteerism, of, of collaboration, of treating people the way they want to be treated. And, and none of that is really possible unless it's financially supported. So when you contribute to Kingdom Builders, you might be that silent person that we often forget to thank. But without the financial donation to Kingdom Builders, all the other stuff I talked about just can't happen. So I want to put a special thank you out there to anybody that donates to the Kingdom Builders financially. Um, because in person, I can say thank you to everybody I can when they show up. But really, the behind the scenes money allows for that ice cream, allows for all the stuff they had to rent for the giant water slide, allows to pay for that insurance. Uh, thank you for contributing to the Kingdom Builders. Without your support, I don't think we'd be as successful as we've been.